you know that teaching where the Buddha says that if someone has said something really nasty, the best way to develop endurance toward things like that is to remind yourself, okay, an unpleasant sound has made contact at the ear, and it depends on contact. When the sound is gone, there should be nothing left to make you miserable. But what makes you miserable is the contact you make in the mind. You carry it in and you keep stabbing yourself with those words. Why did they say those words? What kind of person do they think I am? What kind of person do they think they are? So you're maintaining the contact, which is why it's, there's still pain. If you learn how to drop the contact right at the contact, the initial contact, you're not carrying anything into the mind. Now this principle applies not only to unpleasant words, but also to unpleasant sensations. Wherever there's pain, wherever there's anything unpleasant, a lot of the pain in the mind comes from our commentary on it, anticipating how bad it's going to be, or talking about how bad it has been. Whereas you just stay right at the contact, it's not nearly as bad. Now, there still may be some pain, but it's not nearly as bad as the pain that you create for yourself. Think about that. We've got this heat wave coming up, and already people are talking about the hellish heat wave that's going to be, be here and how bad it's going to be. They're already stabbing themselves. The heat hasn't come yet. And when it comes, there's going to be a lot of commentary on that as well. But if you just stay right at the contact, you find that's not quite so bad. It's not the sort of thing you want to go out and just run around in the sun. You do try to shelter yourself. You try to stay cool. Drink plenty of liquids. Make sure you get your electrolytes so the heat doesn't have a bad impact on the body. And then you take care of the bad impact on the mind. You realize, okay, it's the mind impacting itself with the heat. That's the big problem. We sometimes think that by commenting on it, we can make the situation better. But as Jan Mahabur likes to comment, right complaining is not one of the factors of the path. Just be with the sensation as it is. And tell yourself, you can stay with the sensation of the heat, or you can stay with the sensation of the breath. You have your choice. This is a good time to stay with the breath. The heat will take care of itself. And you find that you suffer a lot less. And particularly, you don't suffer so much in anticipation, you don't suffer so much in the recollection. That's just the sensation right there, right there. And as you deal with any painful sensation, remind yourself again, as soon as it hits, it's going away. It may be replaced immediately, but then that goes away and goes away. So the heat's not coming at you, and you're not running toward the heat. You're staying right there where you are, here at the breath. This way you learn some important lessons about what the Buddha really had to say about suffering. He said the cause really is the clinging. And here you are clinging to perceptions, clinging to thoughts that you don't have to cling to. So they may be there, but you can let them go, let them go. The sensation of the heat can be there, but you can let it go, let it go. Focus on training your mind to focus on the things that can put an end to the suffering, can put an end to the clinging. And you find that your mind can come out unscathed.